is asking us to create a new bank account uh, payment document. Uh, make sure that uh, you are clear with the bank uh, setup that we will do it from FSM level. Okay. And uh, let's go to setup and maintenance. Let's uh, let's go to financial offerings. Go to the bank account. A bank and bank branch. Generally, we don't find much information because uh, those all are just for informational purpose. Hierarchy will be maintained, but uh, complete our work will be at account level, which is configured at legal entity. So we have to choose the legal entity. If we know the account name or number, it's fine. Then you can directly search. If you are not clear, then you can search with your legal entity how many bank accounts are there for this legal entity and choose this bank account. And we have already payment method, but that is already in use with some other file. Payment file is already there. Yeah, it seems this is skip a document here. Let's let's go for create another payment document here. And I'm mentioning that here it is Sony pay document. And I would like to use the stationary format, standard format. I would like to go ahead. This all are pre-stationary formats. Uh, we can also have the custom formats. Technical consultants can build uh, uh, the BI format, and then we can choose that here. And I'm mentioning this starting number as triple uh, nine, ending number is this. Press OK. So we configured a new payment document here successfully. Let's go for select this payment document while making the payments to suppliers. This is how we have to resolve the issue if we get at the time of making the payment to the supplier. Let me show you. It will be clear now. Let's go to payment and try to make the payments to supplier by selecting the invoice. Create payment. Choose the business unit here. So bank account will be configured at what level? Legal entity, means legal employer level. So choose the supplier name. We do not want to recommend any discount. Let's choose this disburse and choose the payment method check. Payment process profile, I'm selecting standard check. Now we can find payment document two. One is, uh, see? check stock key, another one is Sony pay. This is how we have to resolve the issue. Now I would like to make the payment for this supplier by assigning the standard invoice as well as the credit memo and debit memo. We can use the shift button or control button to select multiple records from this invoices list. So I'm selecting standard invoice as well as this two and then uh, let's go for apply. We'll see the total amount which we are supposed to pay will be 9,800. This two credit memo and debit memo we have already attached to the standard invoice here, right? Let's go for uh, save and close. This is how we can perform credit memo and debit memo and attach those things to the invoice and make the payments to the suppliers. And during this payment, if we get any problem uh, regarding the payment method, then we are supposed to payment document, sorry, not payment method, then we are supposed to configure that at uh, uh, bank account level. Okay. Thank you.